myself dr sunil kumar from jc bose technical campus kohan university nainital today we'll discuss namespace and xml data format now in the second session we will discuss about different data formats used in xml and and the difference between these two data format used in xml so as we have discussed xml is a uh, for representing structured information like documents data configuration books transaction invoices and we it is used widely used for carrying the data for sharing the structured information between the programs between the people between the computer between the people and both locally and globally around the network data formats are the rules structure similar to what the programming and written languages xml data format confirms the rules of xml language specification 1.0 this is as per the w3 consortium world wide web and here this includes elements we call tags content particles means sub elements which can be used with the choice and which contain only one pc data pc data means parsed character data and attributes and their attributes there are two types of xml data one is valid other is well formed valid means if it xml document is valid if it conforms it conforms or according to the rules to the document type definition well formed means document which contains the proper syntax it adheres according to the specification 1.0 as laid out by w3 consortium dtd and schema xml schema they these are the two rules which apply to the valid data means we have to create the rules for elements with the xml document dtd are rules which conforms in text using any text editor schema are rules created using schema languages now first data format we will be using dtd here whenever we want to transfer xml file we need to ensure the quality and error freeness means there should be no error and it should be a qualitative one so this can be achieved through document type definition here this is similar to the schema of database so dtd depicts the structure and the legal element and the property of xml property means attribute of the xml document why to use a dtd because there are different group of people are interchanging data on standard uh, using some standard called document type definition and whenever we want to verify the validity of xml data we have to use dtd so xml document whenever we it used or it is being interchanged to some application it will be done through document type definition means it validate validation process is there dtd means dtd allow xml document to grow further with meeting requirement of being well formed as i just discuss well formed document means it adheres to the syntax of the specification 1.0 as laid out by w3 consortium world wide web a valid valid means uh, dtd ensured the valid, validation of the xml document xml valid xml document matches definition of allowable elements attributes means when it matches the correct allowed elements attribute with the proper syntax 
so there is a parser parser uh, which uh, converts the xml document into text string it then here dtd is used to read dt, uh, able to read dtd this is for making validation and whether xml document conforms to dtd and valid document always conform to the rules to the dt rules of dtd document type definition document is then well formed well formed means which it adheres to the syntax by definition document can be well formed but not valid it may be it it may be in a cell in, it may be in the, the proper syntax but it is still it not conforming to the rules of dtd then it is not valid non validity means means it cannot be checked against dtd for conformity means it is that document is not according to the dtd rules document must be well formed it must be having a proper syntax it should contain single root element and elements or tags are properly balanced and properly nested there should be no mingling up of the tags attribute must be specified and coded for the values text contained legal xml character and this document may be valid when it conforms to the rules of the dtd that is grammar specified according to dtd and xml schema dtd allow to create new document grammar this is subset from taken from the standardized generalized markup language and this always focus on document structure and there is a lack of normal data types int float there are no data type like this and let us have document type that declaration here we declare in the de document prolog and it always start with the angle bracket sign of explanation doc type and this point to the external subset outside document and this is always ending with the dot dtd whenever we want to save it we have to give dot dtd file now declaration it should be given inside and this is visible within the document just for this is a dtd is given in prolog and here like this doc type student here uh, document type declaration is there then element tags student student pc data means parse character data and which contain number character etc then doc type student system student dot dtd this is the name of the document type definition file student dot dtd and html public w3c dtd html in this is the standard given while giving declaration of document type definition and here we have to declare element in xml document and they start with the sign of explanation and always end with the angle bracket close and we give pc data my element element my element this is generic identifier and bracket specify the parenthesis specify only content specification what is there keyword pc data means it can contain parsable or parse character data we we are not supposed to use same data element in multiple element type now there are some uh, vocabulary set is there one is sequence other is pipe character then across character sequence means whenever we want to give sequence we put comma sign as identifier like classroom classroom is my element it got two con attribute like teacher comma student pipe we whenever we want to give choice then like deserts we want to choose between the there are two choices ice cream and pastry the occurrence of letter how many letter cardinality if we give plus means one or more occurrences like 
album song plus it may contain one song or more song asterisk is used then library book asterisk question mark only occur only one seat person only one seat is been allocated to one person there are different operator are used plus asterisk question mark plus means at least once and asterisk means here any number of times and question mark it's optional and if used it is only for appear once now content specification type empty element o1 empty that that means child there is no child element markup for o1 element o1 finish mix content combination of element and pc data like my message my message here is some text some there may be some text message even more text my message then any pc data or element or combination and this is commonly used in dtd earlier version now it has been replaced with the pc data and combination and it can also contain empty next feature is attribute type definition we use at list for displaying attribute list declaration here is we start with the explanation sign then student student asterisk there may be one or more then question mark address there is only one address there are different elements are there uh, element student student name and we have again pc data required cd data id c, c data character data which is required we this this is a, a restriction is over there for ha, with the hash means this is a compulsory then implied is hash implied means it will take default value if it is not been specified require it must appear in element this is restriction is there fixed which contains some default value like uh, we have a c character in country id c data implied it will take automatically default value and fix if we give c data center id equal to 3027 it will take the default value 3027 strings character data no uh, constraint on attribute values here we use less than greater than ampersand and characters then we also can use tokenize attribute for the constraint on some permissible character enumerated value when we give only one value listed attribute declaration when we this is most restrictive when we assign one particular value then we can use a uh, attribute type id idrf entity enum token these are the basically for the restrictions and uh, here id is which which is you uh, identify which identify the element uniquely idrf which only point to the id attribute this is uh, uh, identification to the attribute only then we have for example entity digit 01 means you are specifying value 0 1 2 3 4 5 and entity can be may be used as follows use entity m percent digit this is means only these digit are permissible here or if we give at least person gender m pipe character f means there are choice so by default is f if we want to change it we can change it now next data format is xml data definition xsd now this is also referred to as xml schema definition and this is uh, based on w3 consortium world wide web this is super set of dtd which is a standard a standard general generalized markup language schema and this describe the structure of an xml schema document it is used to define the elements attributes and types of the elements which are used in the document and it is also able to validate document 
DTD and the XSD both are used to validate the XML document. Now, we want to uh, describe the legal building block of XML document, just like DTD. This is the purpose of XML. So it provides the correct syntax. Uh, if some document is having correct syntax, which adhere to the rules of W3 consortium specification 1.0, that means it is well formed. A document may be validated also, then it will be a uh, called well formed as well as the valid. Now, XML mm -hmm. schema which can appear in the document, in which attribute can appear in the document. Elements are child elements, means we have sub element also there. Then we have a, uh, we can define the ordering of child element. We can define the number cardinality of the child element. And when we, we can also declare whether element is empty or include some value or some text. Then, and it also defines the data types of elements as well as the attribute. And this also defines the default and fixed value of the element and attribute. Now, if we look at this diagram, uh, the XML vocabulary, one we, we have a DTD, another side we have a XML schema, in between we have an application. So there are different, in DTD we have at least PC data, ID, C data, etc. token, in this XML schema, we have uh, schemas, boolean, data type, string, integer, etc. We have complex type. Complex type means which contain another type also. Now, uh, limitation of DTD. In DTD, we don't have uh, data types like integer, float, etc. And in DTD, we uh, syntax cannot process the XML tools like parser. parser which converts XML into text string here like element date PC data we cannot express in data type also limited data types here like PC data parse character data C data character data these are the only which we can use over there now but th these limitations are not present in XML definition now, for example, uh, no constraint on element content, element date like October, which can allow this date, date can be like this. And for extra information on data format or constant have to be included in the declared con comments. And whenever we want to some constraint or some, uh, some data format, we have to include in the comments only. And this is to be coded by solution provider or the developer. Now in XML schema there are richer capabilities and it can support namespace also. It also support custom data type which is derived from the data types and inherit the features for the attributes and it can also specify constraints and value values and comments are really comments comments no not specification like in DTD we have a comments as a specification like uh, angle vector start sign of explanation but here comments are real comments actual comments they are not specifications and it also describe positive uh, arrangement of text and text in valid document now if you look at this uh, uh, constraints we can pose which type of data is we can have a uh, what type of data which can be appear like we have taken the uh, post code now here if we look at one side we have DTD definition another right hand side we have a schema so for the schema you look at this we can give the uh, values <laughs> default values and here like we have a, a model dealer price and here we have to define all these separately like dealer contains 
deferred value, restricted value, data type, then we have a price, etc. Then this is complex type declaration. Since complex type means which contain another type also, different type of. We have a dealer information which is in text. Price is numeric, that is integer. We can set the pre uh, the predefined values, that is default value. In DTD, it is written as comments, but in XML definition, schema definition, we can declare it in as XML, and here it can describe cardinality. Cardinality means number of times, like asterisk, question mark, plus. Here we give the list of valid values. We call it enumeration, the enumerators, and DTD can't describe what the valid value, but in XSD, XSD we can describe the valid value. We have we have more control. In DTD we have less control on XML structure. It is not extendable, but in XSD we can extend, and DTD don't support namespaces. XSD support namespaces and in DDD we don't have data types here we have data type integer float etc and in DTD we, we cannot define the order for child elements but in XSD XML schema definition we can give the ordering for child element and there are another one more comparison is there we have some shoe store style color season size designer we have say in the right hand side we have xsd and they have given the they have described and given the default value as and restriction separately on each element we here but in in dtd we have only pc data this is for the uh, here in for in case of uh, cardinality we have to give like max occur how many times it can occur like uh, sequence is there one time minimum occur one so these are the different restrictions are being provided like uh, uh, reference style minimum occur one maximum occ occurrence one so but here we can specify in proper way in XSD now XML schema is not designed to be human readable. There is some restriction on XML schema. It is not designed to be human readable. This is readable by machine. And there is one more situation. For example, we want to represent the information five dozen banana. And then there will be a, a problem. So in this case, in this session, you have learned about different data formats which are used in XML and you are able to distinguish the two XML data format, DTD and XML schema. And here we have discussed XML schema definition. Thank you. Have a good day.